In this next section, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step assembly of your frog model. Depending on how familiar you are with our models and how quickly you work, you can hit fast forward and speed through this assembly in about 15 minutes. If you've never put together a Getting Nerdy model, expect to go through this entire tutorial in about 25 minutes. If you followed our advice from earlier and downloaded and printed off the instructions, that's pages 7 and 8 of the student PDF, you'll have everything you need to follow along this next portion of the tutorial. I'm literally going to read the instructions word for word. Again, you can speed this part up if you're familiar with our products. The glue dots you received in your envelope come in perforated sheets of 12 dots. The glue dots team has been kind enough to provide us with instructions on how to use their glue dots. Take a moment to read the instructions provided here. Press pause if you need to. Number one, find the dorsal body and the frog base. Apply glue dots to the back of the dorsal body piece and align it to the back side of the frog base piece. When applying your glue dots to the dorsal body, you want to space them approximately half an inch to an inch apart going all around the edges and down the middle of the frog. Take a moment to let the glue dots sit and adhere to the surface. If you struggle with removing the backing, we recommend placing a fingernail on the edge of the glue dot as you're lifting the backing up. This will ensure that the glue dot sticks to the vinyl and that you have a permanent application. When attached properly, you should be able to see the inside and the outside surface of the frog. Number two, find the internal mandible and the ventral mandible. Apply glue to the back of the internal mandible piece and align it to the back of the ventral mandible piece. When attached properly, you should be able to see the inside and outside surface of the frog's lower jaw. Number three, apply glue to the top of tab B and fold it under. Attach the brain skin flap by tab B over B on the dorsal body. You should not be able to see the tab when applied correctly and the skin flap should cover the brain case. Number four, apply glue to the tab and attach the tongue by tab T over T on the mandible. Again, you'll apply your glue dot to the top of the tab. Number five, Apply glue to the top of the tab MV and fold it under. Align the assembled mandible over the frog's mouth so that the ventral mandible can be seen. Attach the assembled mandible by tab MV over M on the frog base. You should not be able to see the tab when applied correctly and the mouth should open and close like a real frog. Number six, apply glue to the back of the tab and attach the kidneys by tab K over K on the frog base. Number seven, locate the appropriate gonads for the gender of your frog. That's right, you get to choose the gender of each organism that you create with Getting Nerdy Models. In this first portion, we're going to show you how to assemble a female frog. If assembling a female frog, 
You'll locate the female gonads that include the ovaries and eggs. Apply a glue dot to the back of tab RF and place it over tab R on the frog base. Here's how you'll assemble a male. Locate the gonads that include the testes and the fat bodies. Also locate the nuptial pad. For the testes, apply a glue dot to the back of tab RM and attach it over tab R on the frog base. Apply glue to the top of tab N and fold it under on the nuptial pad. Attach the nuptial pad by tab N over N on the frog base. You should not be able to see the tab when applied correctly and the pad should lay over the hand of the male frog. Number 8. Locate the bladder. Apply a glue dot to the top of tab R2 and fold it under. Attach the bladder by tab R2 over the gonads on the frog base. You should not be able to see the tab when applied correctly and the bladder should lay over the base of the gonads. Number 9. Apply glue to the tab and attach the digestive tract by tab O1 over O on the frog base. Number 10. Apply glue to the tab and attach the liver by tab O2 over O1 on the digestive tract. Number 11. Apply glue to the tab and attach the lungs by tab O3 over O2 on the liver. Number 12. Apply glue to the top of tab O4 and fold it under. Attach the heart by tab O4 over O3 on the lungs. You should not be able to see the tab when applied correctly. Number 13. Apply glue to the tab and attach the leg skin by tab L2 over L1 on the leg muscles. Number 14. Apply glue to the top of tab L2 and fold it under. Attach the assembled leg by tab L2 over L on the frog base. You should not be able to see the tab when applied correctly, and the leg skin and muscles should open to view the bone and vessels beneath. Number 15. Locate the abdominal muscles and abdominal skin. Each should already be cut in half on the solid line down the middle. Apply a glue dot to the tabs and attach each side of the abdominal skin by A2 to tab A1 of the abdominal muscles. You should have a left and right side for each. Number 16. Now apply glue to the top of tabs A2 and fold them under. Attach each assembled abdominal flap by A2 over A on the frog base. You should not be able to see the tabs when applied correctly, and the abdominal skin and muscles should open like a book to view the organs, bones, and vessels beneath. Once your model is completely assembled, you'll be able to see both the dorsal and ventral surfaces of your organism.